Hi, my name is Libya Monica, and I'm currently an English literature student in Venus University. I was part of the ISMA awardees who fortunately got the opportunity to study at one of the best universities in Spain, Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Barcelona, Spain. And in this occasion, I want to share my experience, especially after completing the program. So what I noticed from myself after going back to Indonesia after three months of study in UPF, I realized that I have become more brave in what I want to say. I feel like it's okay to deliver my opinions and not everyone has to agree with me. And it, that's because of the learning methods that I received when I was in UPF. I feel like being exposed to different kinds of learning methods from different professors and having a various, various classmates who come from different nations and each of them has their own opinion. I think it has really shaped me into a, a different person, someone who is more brave and just um, knows what um, they want to say and not being afraid at all about it. I mean, I have received critics or feedbacks before, but not as direct as this. And this experience is not what I had much um, before joining ISMA. And then my memorable experiences, academic wise, that the one that I just mentioned before, being exposed to um, new knowledge and it's really um, broad. Um, so for your information, I will I chose uh, four different courses and but most of them are most of them revolve around global studies and that's not what I had much before. I didn't really have the option to choose global studies in my home university. So it, the knowledge itself is something memorable and valuable to me because um, the things that we discuss in global studies are things that we can see in daily lives. But, we, but in my home university, for instance, I don't really, um, get much of it so the knowledge the opportunity to learn about this is a brilliant one to me and social wise um speaking of culture shock maybe the first culture shock that i had was having to be on the first name basis with my professors because um i don't think indonesians are on the first name basis with their professors though and so it's just cultural differences, I guess, but I think it's um, it's a shock for me at first. And then I also have prepared myself before going to Barcelona that I have um, repeatedly told myself that the social life is going to be different there. And I was going to meet a lot of people that might not agree with me on something, on a lot of things. So... I think preparing yourself to differences, cultural differences and social differences is important as well. It helps you to be more open-minded when you socialize with um, people in other countries. And I think living alone far away from my parents and family um, is also a memor and valuable experience for me. I'm not saying it's all good and pretty, rainbows and flowers and that, but it's it has taught me a lot to be more independent because eventually we all will leave our family and start uh, one of our own as well. So I think this opportunity also taught me um, to be more independent and um, make some boundaries for yourself. I think it's really important too. And I I was thinking about implementing these differences in Indonesia. That sounds like a 
big task for me to do alone, but I think I can start small because, for instance, my home university, especially my department, was very excited to welcome back some of their students who had gone abroad and they were also interested in knowing about what, what was our experience like, what was the differences between and the studies in home university and house university. And that's where I start. I, I start by sharing my experience and then um, providing the differences between home and house universities. And then what I think would be good or valuable for my home university to also implement that. For example, in one of the courses I chose in UPF, um, as for our final project, we had the options to do whether we want to do an academic paper or argumentative paper or even a design. So the professor actually, um, they knew that not every student can learn with the same method. So they just kind of gave us, provided us the options to choose which way that we work with best. And I think it's it's one of the most important things that I um, that I received by joining the ISMA program, and I also want to implement that. But not only in my home university, but maybe in other academic institutions in Indonesia as well. And during my initial commitment, well, during the interview session before being accepted to ISMA, um, we were asked to provide some of our, our ideas about how we can improve um, our country or maybe home university and things in Indonesia. And I went really big right off the bat because um, I, I knew that it was going to be a valuable experience, a memorable one, and, but I imagined things way too far in my opinion. And after um, experiencing everything during the three months study period, I realized that I have to be realistic um, in my commitments and everything that I want to do for my country. And um, maybe I can, maybe um, my sharing session with my department that I just told you earlier can be a great start so that um, I, I know that changes won't happen in a second, like um, it starts from the bottom. So I think that um, to change something from our country, we also have to change things in our surroundings. And that's perhaps what I thought has changed from my initial commitments to uh, the ones that I have now. Well, um, obviously, I cannot express, I cannot put my three months experience into a five, 10 minutes videos, but I hope they'll do. And well, thank you for listening. I am officially Isma biased because this opportunity has not only provided me with a lot of things that I needed to study in an international university, but also this opportunity has taught me a lot of valuable things that I could not get from anywhere else. This is what I had to have, in, especially in my early 20s, this opportunity to be exposed to cultural and social differences is exactly what I need to start my early 20s with a fresh start and a, a brand new perspective about how I see and perceive things. And I think that everyone should at least try to join the ISMA program because I want you guys to have the, maybe not as good as mine or maybe even better experiences as I did. Be bold to go abroad.